Her work is called Reverberance of the Autumn Night, written for two violins. It's based on a Chinese poem called Autumn Night. Um, this work is titled Mandala in the Rubble. It's inspired by a trip that I took to Nepal. There I was really fascinated by the visual image that I experienced where they suffered an earthquake back in 2014. My, uh, my featured work is called Recurring Dream, Second Fantasy for Viola and Piano. The piece is the sequel to a piece that I wrote 10 years ago. The work that uh, I composed for this festival was inspired by a natural occurrence known as noctilicence. For my piece is the third of a three movement sonata for clarinet and piano, and this uh, movement is a Pasacaglia. The process here at IC is really fascinating, very unique. Uh, I've been to music festivals all over the world and in residencies, I've never quite seen anything like this. Yeah, I think usually as performers, we used to see a piece as a final piece of art that communicates to the audience what the composer intended. And, but it was great to see Way open to, um, to our options and also kind of to a general consensus. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting to hear this sort of traditional Chinese music, uh, sort of in, almost in this dreamlike uh, extended sections. I very much appreciate and uh, enjoy Bright Cheng's idea about uh, composers and performers participating in the shaping process of a composition. Working with Wright on his piece showed me that there's a lot more freedom to take when we, when I play his piece or any other piece for that matter. The partnership that we've started with uh, HKUST is a, is a wonderful thing uh, for Curtis because it gives our students and faculty and alums an opportunity to work with uh, composers from different parts of the world. For the performers, we have to rehearse on the day and then we have, a pub we have to play it publicly uh, right after. So it's very new for us and it's quite challenging. I'm interested in the, the idea of the, the possibility of the emancipation of the spectator and this seems like it seems like this festival engages with that. I'm really enjoying every morning waking up and opening the curtains and having this incredible view. When I just walk around and I can already hear music in my head. It's a wonderful place to be. 